Quick tutorial for beginners how to use vid. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use vid.io to create our own videos. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So in order to get started we need to visit vid.io. We have the opportunity to start for free, they also have their like paid plans, but we'll start for free to explore the wall this software for us. So just click. How do you feel about video editing? I'm confident. Let it be like this. Basically, you can answer anything you need. So what do we have here? As you can see, we have like bank project area or use templates. So they provide the opportunity to create videos from scratch and also from their templates. So we can use something like this. I'd like to start from scratch because we're going to find all the opportunities, so let's upload our own files here. I'll just click on browse and then I'll just choose some videos from my uh, computer right up here. And as you can see, they will successfully edit to our timeline already. Now we are on our editing page. In the left side, we have a menu with different folders, media, audio, subtitles, text, elements, templates, record transitions and filters. In the top of the screen we have like done area here so we can save our project for later or do some other stuff and if we'll choose in the bottom of the screen on our timeline different videos we have the opportunity to edit them as you can see. So let's first try to play our video and we'll check how does it looks like before editing just a simple nature video as you can see. So um, let's choose it on our timeline and what do we have here? We uh, have some opportunities we can do with this video. We can add animation, adjust, round corners, change opacity, change rotation and change the speed basically, remove background, remove green screen. A lot of opportunities provided like all the video editors they have like here. We can also add like audio, we can upload it by ourselves, or we can voice over, we can also use text to speech or we can simply choose like stock music, I'd like to choose this one, just simply click on plus and then it was successful edit. So we need to fit it with duration. In order to do this we need to click in the bottom of the screen uh, like on our uh, on our corner and then just move it to fit. Yeah, we can also add like subtitles here and add some text. Let's add text. As you can see, they have a lot of templates, but I'd like to use uh, this one. It looks really good. So we can move it to the necessary position. And as you can see, it now it looks like this. We can simply click on it on, on our player and then just change the uh, change the text. Let it be like, hello. We can change the style here, change the size, color, add some animation or add some effect. And the second line is this is nature. Let it be like this. So now our video with this text template looks like this. Pretty cool, yeah? Uh, so you can deal with it. You can also change the duration by simply just changing it right up here. Let's add some elements here, for example, sound like waves. So I'll just choose this one, I'll just click. And as you can see, they were successfully added. So we can change the position, we can change the size and we can rotate them anywhere we want. So uh, if you click on our video, we can resize it here, do some other stuff. Basically, they provide us a lot of different features here. What is really interesting, if you want to delete the unnecessary part, we can simply split it into two different places, here and here, and then just delete. If we want to add some more media, we need to click on Add Media right up here. Click on Add Media. We can choose it from stock or just upload it by ourselves. So I'll just use the stock a video with this ocean so it was successful edit now we can just place it on the same line as we have like here and as you can see now we have like transition looks like this 
so uh, this is a way of how can we add some more videos uh, basically they have a lot of different elements here like this progress bar basically you know it's pretty cool because I didn't see it them in the other like part so it's pretty cool you know yeah also like different templates here we can use and record it also provides us the opportunity to uh, record our camera audio screen screen and camera slides and camera and slides and also we can add some transitions between our videos for example, let's try to add a transition between videos. So simply go to transitions folder and then just drag and drop the necessary transition on our timeline. So let's try to find how those look like. It looks pretty good basically. So they have a lot of opportunities to do it. So let's try to watch how does it looks here. Yeah, also, also pretty good. So when everything is done, we can simply click on done. And what do we have here? We have the opportunity to export video and also we can change some settings. As you can see, we only have like standard option to export because HD is only for premium feature. So we can go back and click on export video. And after that, it will be suc successfully like proceeded. And in a few seconds, we'll be able to like download it. Let's wait for a little. As you can see, they have like their paid plans here. Uh, we can buy it and after that we'll have the opportunity to increase the export quality and also they have like uh, some other features provided by only paid plans so the process is already ended and now we'll have like opportunity to watch this so it looks like this now so uh, if we'll go to like explore pricing, we can find that they have like free, basic, pro and business version. And what the difference is, the biggest difference is, is in like export settings. For example, for free, it's only with unlimited exports in 720p with a watermark. The basic provides us like 1080 and uh, the pro is the highest quality basically it's pretty cool and like it's bad that only paid plans provides us the opportunity to uh, remove our watermark from your videos it's not that cool as for me because i think as it's it's good when the company provides opportunity to create videos without watermark but basically this is a way of how can we use vid.io for video editing Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.